हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई शोड अ केस वेयर फास्ट क्वार रिमूवल वॉज डन बाय द सर्जन एंड आई आस्क वट वॉर द रीजन्स बिहाइंड दिस फास्ट quadrant removal so let's find out the thought process behind this particular step so this was the video i am just replaying the video of the surgery and just watch again carefully how the quadrant removal takes place it's very efficient very quick and then i will analyze each and every step and will share what were the reasons for quick quadrant removal without causing any risk of complication so let's start from the beginning i think good preparation is very much important so you should have adequate size ccc good hydro dissection and good nucleus rotation and then you separate the pieces completely till the posterior plate as i am doing now so unless the pieces are well separate they will not come out quickly be well down or sideways be well always helps for quicker occlusion and we can bring out the piece from the bag very quickly with this position of the feco tip of course good fluidics are required to keep the posterior capsule safe in this position always use non dominant hand you can see throughout the surgery that uh, the non dominant hand of the surgeon is moving the pieces around the feco tip while the feco tip is holding its position most of the times near the center of the eye and that is very important so train your non dominant hand to move the pieces optimum flow rate and vacuum for peristaltic mode and balanced high vacuum and infusion for venturi mode are essential for quicker quadrant removal there has to be balance between infusion and outflow so keeping the anterior chamber stable is more important ozil and good foot switch control avoided any chatter in this case and ensured good fallibility with longitudinal feco will need appropriate power setting and good foot switch control avoid excess power or too low power it was a softer grade of cataract so quadrant removal should be little slower in harder grade of cataracts as the flying pieces can damage the endothelium so there is no need to hurry the idea is to have optimum efficiency during feco emulsification for more such videos do watch my youtube channel subscribe to it and watch different playlist including the thought process and feco training thank you so much